Dinox Advice Episode 38 Make one mistake and everyone judges you Hello everyone, this is Dinox Advice speaking once again And today I want to talk about something pretty important Because it seems today in society You make one mistake And keep in mind that human beings makes mistakes a lot because they're not perfect you know the only one perfect is god that's how i believe it because i'm from a christian church but nobody in this world is perfect they have their flaws and they have their advantages as well everyone's good at something and everyone is bad at something like they're not worth something but they're worth in other areas as well So what I'm talking about is that there's this quote that says that I make one mistake and everyone judge me. And that is so sad but so true today. Because it's like today's society, at least where I live, if you're meeting someone new, for example, like you are taught by society that you need to be at your best behavior, you need to have a, a best first impression and stuff like that. Because if you mess up a little bit, if you are a little bit nervous or if you say one wrong thing, people are not going to want to talk to you anymore because they saw your first impression and they think that you're always going to be that way. And they don't even sometimes tell you about it as well. They're like very dishonest. They leave you and they never talk to you again. And they don't tell you why they suddenly stop talking to you. This happened to me a lot in the past because I may have said something to someone that I know. And let's be honest, most of the times I may have said something to a female friend that I used to have. And because I made a mistake that I did not notice because sometimes when you make a mistake, sometimes you don't realize it until You notice it later on when people starts behaving differently towards you. And you see that and you don't know what to do. Because like you ask yourself, what I did wrong? What's wrong? Is there something wrong with me? You tend to question yourself a lot because you're not getting any clear answers. And they just stop talking to you, stop socializing you. They expect you to figure this out for yourself. If somebody would have been more honest with you to tell you exactly what you did wrong, and how to improve it because everyone makes mistakes maybe that same person that made a mistake could try to improve it maybe you could give this person another chance but no today we of course not everyone's like that but a lot of people are like that you know there's a lot of good people out there that are willing to forgive others and stuff like that and that's a really good quality to have but there's a lot of other people out there and in my case It's mainly women that I deal with, um, you know, every now and then that they tend to all of a sudden I say something wrong and they don't tend to forgive. I do something wrong. I make a mistake and that every human being does. And then you are labeled as someone that you really aren't. You just, you know, made an innocent mistake. You may have said something wrong. You are sorry. You don't want to do it again. You learn from your lesson. But guess what? Society doesn't want to move on. They see you as the person you were like maybe years ago, like five years ago, 10 years ago, because that's the impression that you gave to the person. And that's how they know you as. And then they start telling everybody about it so they could try to avoid you or they could try to judge you as well. Because trust me, I've been to such crappy situation with people like that because I'm a human being. I make mistakes. And when somebody suddenly like not talking to me or suddenly like trying to avoid me and they don't tell me why, naturally, I tend to worry. I tend to question myself. I tend to try to contact the person back, but they don't answer back whatsoever because I don't know exactly what I did wrong. And maybe I did know what I did wrong, but if they don't tell me, I don't know if that's the exact reason. I may have an idea, but there's no clarity and stuff like that so how am i gonna improve myself how am i gonna fix myself if they're not honest with me so this has to do with dishonesty people being judgmental towards you you making a mistake and you get judged let's give you another story like there are people that say something on the internet let's put it instant like may maybe someone from middle school or high school they tend to say something that maybe they shouldn't have said 
and you know life experience you know stuff that you say on the internet will stay there forever and there's a lot of examples on that once it's posted online people see that they can spread the word and then no matter how much you try to change they will see you the same way like before it's like something in you trying to remember your past and you're trying to forget about your past that you did wrong because you are a much better person but it's really hard for you to actually prove that to them because you have to do something really special not everyone is capable of doing something like that so they just stay judged and they start getting bullied and stuff because of a little mistake they did maybe they say something that offended someone online of course the person that did it probably is in the wrong probably kind of deserved it in the beginning but after a while you know that's why i believe in god because god forgives your sins and they forgive like everything that you do like if you really are serious of not doing it again god will forgive you no matter what even if you killed someone god will forgive you and of course you know in killing someone you you go to jail for the rest of your life for the most part and then you repent and they still don't forgive you because they want you to stay in jail and be miserable so you know it takes someone really strong to actually get around that it comes to show that life is very very delicate and it makes you feel like that there's no room for mistakes there's no room for errors even thought we are all human beings and we make errors a lot but what matters is that we learn from our mistakes and that we don't do it again because you have to remember not to do it again of course sometimes i have that problem too but it's not that i mean to do it okay so what I'm trying to say here is everybody in this world, even criminals, deserves a second chance. I know this is weird for me to say it and I know that you probably disagree with me. You can give me a thumbs down. I understand. But I strongly believe as long as you're still living in this world, as long as you still are breathing, you have a chance to change your life, to change yourself if you have done something wrong, to prove that you have changed as a different person. But of course, there's always going to be a bunch of people once you tarnish your reputation that they're not going to move on. But guess what? Even if you're a murderer, even if you have killed people in the past, like 10 years, 20 years ago, and you changed into a completely different person and, you, and God has forgiven you and everything and you try to help people out, there's always going to be that percent of people that will never forgive you, that will have grief, they will have grudges against you, and they will never forgive you. And you know what? I think that the people that don't forgive you at all, even if they know that you have changed, they're worse than the person that used to commit the act, believe it or not. They're a lot worse than that. Because this is a changed man who repented all his sins and all that stuff. He's not going to kill again. And he has never killed again since he repented. And he has proven that as well. But there's always going to be a bunch of stupid, crappy people out there that will not forgive whatever they did because you know what they did you know is permanently unforgiven and stuff like that but what's really messed up is that even the little sins like maybe you say that you are into stuff that are not considered normal you have maybe some sort of a kink or a fetish you know something like a lot of people think it's weird and they just think about it and i just when you reveal that information and I'm gonna be honest, I made that mistake. People already know about it. <sighs> it just does not go away. And you have to learn to deal with that. The best thing you can do, honestly, even if you have repented on what you did or regretted on the things that you have done wrong or what you have said that you shouldn't have said, perhaps, they're still gonna get around you. So it's best that you take it maturely, you try to ignore them, you try not to let it bother you. You prove to them that you have changed but if they don't want to believe it that's their problem that's not your problem because you did your part god knows that you did good deeds and stuff like that and you know honestly just uh live your life improve what you've done do not make the mistakes again but god is willing to forgive any types of sins out there any types of sins and i'm gonna be honest with you this is a topic that's really personal towards me because i know what it's like 
to like do something that you kind of regret people tend to judge you a lot and stuff like that and it just stays with you it just follows you to your grave and then sometimes it even results you having to move to another country so you can start off a new life because these people doesn't move on if you're like that i just want to give you one advice to you guys if you feel like you made a mistake in the past you're watching this and you have changed but people doesn't want to give it give you they want you to remember your, of the terrible or embarrassing things you said in the past and they judge you for it yeah just um do not listen to these people Prove that you have actually changed and if it's really affecting your social life and your life in general that you can't really go on you're gonna have to move out of your country and move to another country where people are getting to know you now and they're getting to respect you and you make sure you don't do that same mistake again now that you're a changed man exactly and who knows maybe one day you'll be super famous and everyone will see who you really are right now and this whole thing will be put to rest but that's very rare that's gonna happen i'm gonna be honest with you so just move on do not commit suicide by the way because i know a lot of people out there young people they commit suicide because they get constantly bullied a lot for a simple mistake they did in the past and people don't know how to forgive and forget and one of the best value, if you meet people out there that are willing to forgive and forget and accept your flaws out there, then those are the type of people you do not want to let go. Those are the type of people you want to be with. People that will encourage you to move on in your life and they accept your flaws because no human being is perfect. And here's the sad truth. No matter what you do, no matter who you are, no matter what, you will never be able to be liked by everyone in the entire world there's always gonna be a good portion of people that will hate you just because of the way you look just because of your race just because oh you're skinny you're fat or whatever just because of that as well just because of your appearance they judge you for that as well and they just tend to make fun of you because of that those guys have no life those bullies if they continue like that they're worse off than you you are way better off if you can't improve yourself your appearance you could but it's all for the sake of your health not because you want to get a validation for people you just stick with people that are willing to accept you for who you are and get the people out that are toxic in your life if you want to see the video of toxic people description below i left a link there you could check it out after this video so that's pretty much all i have to say about this like i said i know that there's gonna be people that disagree with me i know i'm gonna get a lot of thumbs down because of me reviewing a little bit of something i may have made a mistake right now in this video and in a lot of videos i made a mistake i get a lot of thumbs down i get a lot of haters that continues hating me to this day for something that i did in the past but guess what that ain't gonna stop me i'm gonna continue making videos i'm gonna continue to say what is really in my mind i'm gonna continue to be genuine because that's who i am that's the person who i am the people that has accepted me for who who i am those are my good friends those are people i have in my life the people that are not really to accept for who i am my flaws and stuff like that i really don't need you in your life that's all i'm saying so i'm not afraid to get hate in this video because i'm speaking my mind there's a lot of people that are willing to forgive and there's people that don't no matter who you are no matter what you do like i said you're not going to be liked by everybody there's always going to be haters but if you get a lot more people to like you that hate you then you're doing really good in your life and that's what matters anyway that's all i have to say about this video comment below what you think about this whole thing i would like to hear your opinions on it and stuff like that and until next video you guys take care god bless and stay cool bye bye thank you for watching this video to the end if you want more advice world or life experience discussion for me subscribe today and click on the bell next to it so you can receive notification whenever new videos becomes available see you then